quite cold this morning. Um, still got the cold or the sickness, but I feel 100% better. So I'm not sure why um, I still got it. I feel absolutely fine. Uh, so it's quite cold. Come up here. It's cold in here in the collection room. So I'm going to have to put the heating on. Um, I'm going to do a video on the FM3 air and the canister's quite cold as well and I'm quite cold uh, so hopefully it will warm up once I get it on display and put the heating on um, for, so the FM3 a I'll explain why it's called the FM3 a um, in a minute but it comes in this tubular canister with a canvas like material for carrying strap attached via two buckles or two bales on the side it appears that that's the person's initials and the canister itself is in a it's steel metal canister in a blue sort of battleship grey paint so to speak so it's one of those pull the lid off mechanisms one of those crappy french mechanisms it's a french tin so it's obviously a french reissue and it's quite irksome to get out of the tin uh, but first on top you have this here which is the instructions I, I don't read french it's a french reissue like i said the originals would be in uh, Czech language, Czechoslovakian. Oops, and drop that. So it's kind of folded up, but there's the manuals instructions, and on the other side. So I'll leave that out to one side near my gramophone. And this paper uh, thing, this paper. This is actually more instructions, but wrapped up in here is surprisingly a anti-fogging soap not a cream or a paste or anything like that it's a soap yet again i believe french language on this one too but, and it's quite badly damaged the manual but they're basically the soap to stop your respirator or gas mask from fogging up and i can't really open this it it's quite crumbled up and everything but um if I can try you can see that's the instructions um and the soap just stays in there so I'll put them to one side carefully unfortunately that's ripped so there all your instructions and everything the respirator's in there. Um, of course, with one hand, it's quite hard to get out. It's quite irksome. Uh, very irksome. So, I'm going to um, remove the respirator of gas mask, the FM3A, by two hands off camera. Okay, so after removing the FM3A... Oops, sorry. After removing the FM3A from this empty <laughs> canister... It's now empty. And it's French canister, I think tiny or tiny whatever means normal size. Um so you've got the FM3A 1939 FM3A inhale valve, exhale valve, and it made by Fatra. Triplex glass, I believe, but it's not removable at all. And then you've got like these I think Bake light or metal sort of like uh, rims here on the, on the on both sides. The cold, quite cold, so, and they kind of feel like metal. Yeah, I think that is metal painted black. Yeah, I thought that was bake light. This is the yeah 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 it is that the, that's me metal and that's triplex. Yeah, that's the bake light compartment. Feels completely different. Then you've got a stupid. French head huh, uh, uh, stupid Czechoslovakian design of a head harness on there. And you've got your neck strap, which isn't too bad. The filter. 
hear that? Something is quite loose. Which is bad. Very bad. But really, really good condition. Filter, filter. I think it's an FF2 filter made by Eckhart. Check his vacuum writing on there. Uh, 1939. Uh, 1939 on there. Never, never been used, so it's could be unissued. So I don't know. I mean, it's been reissued to French, but well, when it is issued, it's just a never been used set. And you've got that on the, the sort of like tab or whatever. So that's quite interesting. And it's 42 millimeter screws onto there, which I'll do in a minute. But we'll talk about its history first and learn about the FM3A. The FM3 was manufactured by Fatra, uh, Cherma, and Kudrak. Hopefully I'm pronouncing those names correctly. And uh, served from 1938 to the 1940s. The FM3 was mainly intended and used for by civilians or industrial purposes. Uh, the FM3 face piece is made of plain rubber material. But the difference between the FM3A is that the face piece is made from rubber material. But what seems to be coated in stocking net material. Just like the Mark IV General Service Respirator, although a different colour of stocking net. The eyepieces are made from tri triplex glass, which are held back via black painted steel assemblies. So yes, it is steel rims. The front of a mask, that being the valve housing, is made from a Bakelite material. Just like the FM3A, there also happens to be an FM3B. FM3C and FM3D out there. The kit I have is complete. All below is what you need to have the complete kit and what the complete kit would have consisted of. Mask filter, carrier, anti-fogging soap, short manual. The filters used for the FM3 was usually the FF3 and I have the FF2 filter. And then there was the CHF1 and the filter connection thread for the FM3 is 42mm. The FM3A I have is all far as I'm aware dated 1939. I don't think there is any other dates on there what don't say 1939. And then uh, located within the v v valve assembly is the inhale and exhale valve also including a filter intake or screw on thread area so thank you for watching sorry if it's been a bit of a long video there is quite a lot to talk about the fm3a i understand if this video isn't for you because it was quite long but um yeah there is quite a lot to cover with the fm3a um so it does take quite a while to get through the fm3a plus with two manuals and anti-fogging soap and everything um because I've got the complete kit and everything you read was what I have. So yeah, it's um, a French free issue, FM3A. So thanks for watching. Uh, take care now. Goodbye.